Yeah, g'day, and welcome to May Machine, and another update video on the electrifying the Mark II Escort van. Um, in this episode, we are going to take this large piece of aluminium block almost 60 mil thick block of aluminium and get it machined by machining solutions here in Wanaka and also they are going to machine the motor shaft coupler and we are going to get that assembled so put the electric motor connect it to the gearbox and then we are going to put it in the car and make the mounts that go to the original engine mounts in the car. So let's get started, crack on. Okay, I'm just at Machine Solutions and these are the guys in Wanaka who are doing the machining work for the adapter and the um, coupler. So let's go inside and check it out. So you'll work. Another exciting day today. Look what's just turned up. That's right, it's the adapter. And this is the coupler. So this goes on to the electric motor and the flywheel gets bolted on there. And this is the adapter between the motor, goes on there. Um, on the top here, that goes up that way. On the top, you've got the controller cooling plate, bolts on there. That bolt, the one in the middle at the back there is for a lifting eye. Then we've got the two mounting plates will go on each side there and there and then come forward to the engine mounts. So I was going to work on the, uh, the car, which is outside at the moment in the pop-up. Because I'm going to do some smelly stuff out there, bogging and so on. But um, I can't help myself. I think I've got to put this together. Okay, step one, I am going to put the coupler onto the shaft. So I just clean that off with some Scotch-Brite first. And then the keyway sits on in here. I'll just leave that at the top. Sorry. Um, yeah, and so get the coupler, put it in the oven at 150 degrees C, get that up to temperature, and then I'm going to pull it out of the oven and bring it over here and tap it onto the shaft, or it should flop onto the shaft, and then let it cool down. So let's do that now. Well, that was a struggle to say the least, but um, I've got it on and according to the measurements, it's about 0.4 of a millimetre um, further out towards the gearbox. So it should be all right. Um, there's plenty of room there for a bit of movement. So now I've just put the grub screws in and next thing is to fit the adapter plate to the electric motor and keep going after that. Now the uh, pivot bearing. Dabity tap in the hole. Flywheel.
clutch plate and the clutch pressure plate thing. Using a turned down piece of aluminium. This gearbox here gonna connect onto that flange there. And here we have it. Um, the drivetrain all put together. It all went pretty well really. Um, there's the controller and the cooling plate which bolts onto the top of the adapter. That all worked out good. Made a lifting eye there. Um, yeah, there it is, looking good. So next step, we make the mounts. So it makes two plates that'll bolt on here, then we'll put it in the car, and then we'll make up the connecting piece for the mount. Right, that's the thing in there. There's those packers I made. Just pack that down. It's quite an angle. So I had to make some other packers back here in that intermediate bearing, you can see there, uh, to try and keep this front part as straight as I could get. It's still a bit of an angle on there. But that just gives us, I've got a block of wood under, the motor, that's about half an inch, 12 mil, um, gap between the um, steering cross arm, whatever you call it, and the underside of the motor. So I'm going to go ahead now and make the pieces between this bolt-on pad here and the um, engine mount, the original engine mount here. So I'll probably get a piece of um, piece of angle here and then SHS cross to there. Tack it all in place, do the same on the other side. Yeah, so that's next.
womanly well. Um, it's in there, it's a bit of a gap underneath. Um, there's a gap around the tunnel, so hopefully not too much clanky clanking as it goes along. No, it's all really good, it turned out pretty good. So now I'm going to put it back outside in the tent and uh, carry on with the bodywork a bit more. I think I'll do it out there because it gets a bit smelly inside. Um, yeah, so I'll leave that one there. Please subscribe if you haven't. And please give it a thumbs up. It helps me quite a bit if you can do that. And leave me a comment. I'd really love to hear from you. I will reply to all comments. Um, but until next time, I will see you later.